my GCSE Biology. Syllabus Statement 1.2, the variety of life, beginning with the first major group of organisms, which we call plants. Plants typically carry out photosynthesis, for which they have the pigment chlorophyll to trap light. Second major feature, the presence around their cells of cell walls composed of cellulose and they store carbohydrate in the form of a molecule called starch. Contrast this to group number two, the animals, where we have no photosynthesis. There are no cell walls and carbohydrate is stored as a molecule called glycogen. Typically these animals are what we would call consumers, eating other organisms as a source of nutrient. Our third group here is the fungi. Once more, no photosynthesis. However, we do have cell walls, but this time they're composed of a different molecule called chitin. These organisms store glycogen, like animal cells, but their mode of nutrition is as saprophytes. They usually secrete enzymes and digest the substrate, their food, outside of the body and then absorb it. We should remember that in the fungi, although portrayed here as multicellular organisms, that, that we do study on this course, yeast, which is a single cell version. One of the unusual things about fungi is that they often have, put this in here, multiple nuclei in a cell, many nuclei in the same cell. Up here, we have a group called Protoctis, uh, which are single celled. Some of them photosynthesize, others are consumers. Notice the presence in this diagram of a full nucleus. Contrast that, so that's group number four. Group number five is here, and this is the bacteria. Now the bacteria have no nucleus. Instead they have a loop of DNA they can photosynthesize some of them but most of them live off the dead or living tissue so we'll call them consumers. A major characteristic is no nucleus they have a cell wall and finally, group number six, controversial, the viruses, are they actually living things? They show very few of the characteristics of life dealt with in 1.1. However, they do have around the outside a protein shell and inside there will be a nucleic acid either DNA or RNA. Many of these are parasitic. In this diagram here we have this one is HIV, this one is influenza, and this one is a very unusual virus which actually infects bacterial cells and this is called a phage very very small organism. So the statement 1.2 the variety of life.